Dorothy and Jason, it is never easy to put into words the deep things within us, but your relationship grew because you shared with one another, you spoke to one another, you dared to reveal who you are to one another. I urge you to commit yourself as husband and wife. A love relationship lives and grows in onyx expression shared with one another. It ought never to be taken for granted. They say a person is meant to find someone whom you share a connection of minds, an unconditional love, and a total understanding. I actually disagree with this statement because we are a perfect example of two people who are opposites of each other. Throughout the years, we learned to handle, manage, and even complement each other's differences. Detours came and seasons may have changed, but our little Cupid has remained loyal and somehow worked its magic and led us to here. Truly, love never fails. I loved every single moment you spent with me and, my, and the family especially the days you came from OKC, just to spend as much time as you could with us. I assure you those always became my core memories. I always enjoyed your company. Today I look you in the eyes and finally say that we are proud of you. I am proud of you. Just so incredibly happy for the two of you and I pray that you have the most beautiful life and journey together. So let's all raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Ingle. Here's to a long, healthy and happy years ahead. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't have to get yes. Mm, yeah, well, good job. Dorothy and Jason, you have committed yourselves to each other in joyous and sacred covenant. Become one. Fulfill your promises. Love and serve God. Honor Christ. Honor one another. Enjoy and be blessed by the power of the Holy Spirit in your relationship. Our day has finally come. It's crazy to think that we have known each other for half of our lives. Yes, thank you for putting up with me for the last 15 years. It was such a roller coaster ride, yet every teardrop then has now been worth it. From writing letters to each other when you were away to writing our marriage vows now. Just look how far we've come. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As, as a symbol of my undying love. As a symbol of my undying love. As a symbol of my undying love. And perfect devotion. And perfect devotion. Jason, you are truly blessed. But I'm sure you know that already. <laughs> I would like to take this to take this moment though to simply thank you, Jason, for taking care of Dorothy and loving her the way she deserves. I know that Tito Oboy is looking down with his unwavering smile, knowing that his daughter is in good hands with you. It's, right. it's a patient heart with tired eyes. It'll bring we have experienced the lowest of lows, gone through certain chapters of our lives. As we have already spent quite some time together, we have fought through countless ups and downs and ever since the beginning of our relationship. Today, I vow to keep holding your hand in life, prioritize your needs, continue taking care of you. 
I want for both of us to keep enjoying the little things in life. I love you, Dorothy and De Leon, today, forever, always. shows me as your lifetime partner and for that I will be forever grateful. Your patience and understanding with me has been beyond and for that I am lucky. From this day forward, I vow to love you and honor you for the rest of my existence. I loved you then, I love you now, and forever and always you will be my home.